Hi, this is Merrill, a tax tutor. I wanted to talk a little bit about how you accelerate the depreciation on a building when you purchase it. So this is particularly helpful for real estate investors and real estate developers. So let's say that you go and you purchase a building. So the first step is you need to purchase a building. So purchase a building. Okay, so now you've purchased a building and it could be a commercial building or a residential building. It doesn't matter which one that you purchase. Then the tax code says that when you purchase that building, you can depreciate that building over a period of time. So if you purchase a commercial building, the tax code allows you to depreciate that over 39 years. If you purchase a residential building, the tax code allows you to depreciate that building over 27 and a half years. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, wait a minute, that's, that's all fine and good, but there's probably pieces inside of that building that don't last for 39 years or don't last for 27 and a half years. What do we do in those cases? Is there a way that we can take depreciation faster than 39 years or 27 and a half years? And there is. This is called a cost segregation. So when you purchase a building, you want to have the costs uh, segregated. And when you have the cost segregated, you have a study that comes in and says, okay, even though you've purchased a building and that building has a 39 year life, let's say it's a commercial building, you have flooring inside that building that maybe only has a five year life for tax purposes. And you have cabinets inside that building that maybe have a five year life or a seven year life, or you have fixtures or you have furniture or you have some pieces in that building or you have, um, uh, improvements in that building that are a 15 year life under the tax code. And so is what you do is you do a study that segregates out the cost of that building. And then you are able to depreciate that building over the period of time that that cost segregation study stipulates. If you have, let's say that you buy a million dollar building, and $50,000 worth of that building is in five-year property, well, you can depreciate $50,000 of that purchase price over a five-year period rather than over a 39-year period if it's a commercial building. Now, there is a huge, huge benefit currently under the tax law, and that is bonus depreciation. And is what bonus depreciation allows us to do is to accelerate even faster some of those depreciation items. So our five year and seven year and 15 year currently can all be written off in one year, one year at a time uh, when, they, when those are purchased. So rather than taking 39 years in a commercial building or 27 and a half years in a residential building, to recognize some of those items. With bonus depreciation, you can write those all off in one year and get a tremendous benefit. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be saying, well, that's fine, but when I turn around and sell that building, I'm gonna have depreciation recapture and I'm gonna have to recognize that all back into income anyway, because so this is really a timing difference. And, and in some ways it is a timing difference, whether you depreciate something over 39 years versus one year, um, that is a timing difference. However, with the time value of money, you want to get a deduction more quickly today than you do over a 39 year period. A deduction today is worth much more than a deduction over 39 years. So time value of money is helpful there. Um, and also the depreciation recapture rules are really, really beneficial in this sort of case too. Because as what happens is when you take depreciation on a building like this, you can get recognize an ordinary deduction on it. So let's say that you are in the top tax bracket. You are in the 37% tax bracket and you buy a million dollar building and you're able to accelerate this depreciation and you get an extra $100,000 of depreciation um, because of a cost segregation study that you run. So if you 
take that extra $100,000, you get a $100,000 deduction on your tax return. And then let's say you turn around and sell that building and now you have depreciation recapture. Well, there's a special rule with depreciation recapture that only requires you to recapture that at a 25% tax rate. So if you take a 37% deduction and then down the road recognize a 25% income tax on that for the depreciation recapture, well, there's a 12% difference there. On $100,000, a 12% difference is $12,000. Maybe you look at that and say, eh, $12,000, that's not a whole ton. But you know, let's say it's a million dollar difference, and now your uh, tax difference is $120,000. Or let's say it's a $10 million difference, and now your tax difference is $1.2 million. So you kind of have to look and see how big of a property that you've bought, how big that, that difference is, because the bigger the property and the bigger the money, the bigger difference that it makes on your tax rate and on your tax bracket. Now, the final piece of uh, the cost segregation is to get a study done. And these studies are typically done by specialty firms. They're done by engineers that come in and can dissect the building and can say, okay, this portion of the building is five-year property, this portion of the building seven, this portion of the building is 15, and then the remaining portion is your 27 and a half year for a residential or 39 year for a commercial. So it's very beneficial to have one of these firms come in, take a look, see if it's worth running a cost segregation study, and then if so, running that study and then helping you to recognize all those benefits. Now you can go back in time, let's say you bought a building five years ago and you think, oh, I should have done that, you can actually go back and, and have that done now and uh, file a change in accounting method and get everything caught up for that. So it's never too late to go back and have one of these studies done. Uh, they can be extremely beneficial, extremely helpful, and can save you uh, a lot of money on taxes and on your tax returns. I hope you enjoyed that video and learned more about taxes in the process. My name is Merrill Taylor and my business is TaxTutor.com. I would like to make a special invitation to anybody that owns a bookkeeping business. If you currently own a bookkeeping business and you serve your clients doing bookkeeping, I would invite you to take a look at adding tax preparation to your bookkeeping business. Is what we've found from working with bookkeepers and clients over the years is that those bookkeepers that add tax preparation to their bookkeeping business are better, better able to serve their clients because their clients are looking for someone who can both offer bookkeeping as well as tax preparation. They want someone who is well-rounded. They want one person that they can go to and get help and assistance with both their books and their taxes without having to hire two separate people to, to work through that process for them. If you are interested in adding tax preparation to your bookkeeping business, visit taxtutor.com and learn more about how we help bookkeepers to do that in the process.